say what's up? You say what's up? What's up guys? I'm Heath, this is the Miner Boys. We're down in the race shop. Sorry it's loud, we got the uh, rocket heater going. It is chilly, bad chilly right now. So uh, we're out here, about to get to work on my car. We're gonna get it loaded up and ship it off somewhere. Um, I'll tell y'all more about it here in just a minute. Um, but we're gonna get to working on it in just a second. But first, I wanted y'all to check this out. Um, we were invited, uh, emailed by a lady, invited to do a little Zoom interview type deal um, for a possible documentary on dirt racing. Uh, it's a really cool deal that they're trying to get together. Um, she's from like the UK, actually Bristol, I think is where she lives. So it's, you know, she, we made that connection with Bristol, Tennessee and Bristol uh, in the United Kingdom. So uh, it's a pretty cool deal. We talked to her for probably about an hour or so about racing, uh, about family, family in racing, all sorts of stuff. We videoed a couple little, a uh, couple minutes of it to show y'all. Um, obviously, we don't have her in it to protect her privacy and everything, but she's got a cool accent. <laughs> but uh, let me show y'all a couple clips of that. It's a really cool deal. I am very hopeful for dirt track racing to, to that, that this happens. Obviously, we would love to be involved in it and be a part of the documentary and the, the show that they're planning on doing. But regardless, I think if they get the funding, then it'll be a really good deal for, for dirt track racing in general so i'm uh, pretty stoked about it um what they're doing is they're taking our interview some other folks interviews i think i know chase holland um, they did this interview about the same day we did um and posted a video with them doing it um so they're they're interviewing a bunch of folks they're gonna take little snippets um from each interview and put together like a little little video to take in front of producers and hopefully get funding for the uh, for the show so be an awesome deal like I said we'd love to be part of it but if we're not I, I just hope they get a, a funding to do it because I think it'd be really cool so here's that y'all check it out let us know what you think about it so we're basically taking cars that are built to be straight drive straight going down the road we're modifying a bunch of stuff and we're making them turn left and go in a circle fast <laughs> So what's it like when you're driving in that dirty small circle? I mean, what the, what's it like? What's the dirt track like? And what the what the corners like? What does it feel like to the driver? Awesome, <laughs> <laughs> love it. Uh, it's, it we we tell everybody that it's it's something that you can't explain. Um, early in the night when the track is what what he said heavy and there's more water on the track, you're getting pelted by mud. Description. So tell me. Then. Is that like your favorite track or is that like your, like your best race? Or? Well, that was actually a, that was really for me just a storybook opportunity. It's, we watched Bristol, you know, NASCAR, the, the highest of highs in asphalt racing in America, you know, that that's their, their track. And, you know, Dale Earnhardt won there many times, Rusty Wallace, Kyle Busch, you know, a lot of history behind the track. I will probably never get a chance to run it again but i can say that i've i've run at bristol and we were lucky enough to pull out a feature win at bristol so that's to me now the funny thing about that is that race didn't pay anything you know it's, it's got to be for more than just the money yeah I, I think it's more of the chase i think it's something that you're never gonna fully accomplish there you know there's always something bigger and better you can do um, you could go out, you know, this weekend, you could win a race. You could win by a straightaway. You could go back the next weekend with a car the exact same way, everything the same, and you could run fifth place. It, it's, it's a never ending battle and struggle. All right, pretty cool deal there. Uh, y'all fingers crossed, hopefully that works out. So today, me, dad, and Shep are down here in the shop and we are getting this car ready to head to tennessee um big thanks to alan gilry uh he, they own the 18 car you've seen us racing with a couple times they're actually heading up to eddie runyon's place to pick their car up and they're going to take mine and drop it off 
these watts since they're going up there. So big thanks to them. Uh, we're gonna get this one loaded up and ready to go. The rear end is still messed up on it. Um, got a mount broke on it. Eddie's gonna fix the rear end and we're actually gonna change some geometry stuff on the rear end. We've got it shifted over some. We're gonna kind of square it back up. <laughs> a lot of that was our tightness issue. Um, he's gonna do a body on it sides fenders we got a nose in the truck we'll go get in a minute and he's gonna do a hood and a bumper for us and then just kind of run through everything um fix our front end uh, we we know of some issues that we had there that we just hadn't been able to get fixed because we were trying to race um getting that fixed easy bud <laughs> it's okay but uh but we're gonna get it ready to go send it to Eddie to get a body on it and then hopefully we'll be racing here soon uh, hoping to make the, the Battle of the States race March 4th at Why Not Motorsports Park um, Bo's getting married the next weekend so he's not coming there's his car and when we go pick up my car from Eddie in a few weeks we're going to take that one drop it off at Eddie's uh, when I get mine and then we'll get a body and stuff done on it so um, dad ready to get to work I guess so he, he's getting, getting tires and stuff wheeled in here and then we're gonna get stuff changed on this get the shocks off of it send some different shocks to Eddie get the new body on this one we'll pick it up take that one up there get a new body on it and a couple things done to it as well All right, so there's our battery. <laughs> we had to pull the Go Lithium 16 volt battery out. Um, first issue we had with it, uh, according to them, we must have let it go dead and it's not holding a charge now. So I talked to them, we're sending it back to them to get fixed and it should be, I'm shipping it out tomorrow. So for Eddie's sake, being able to move this thing around, dad has engineered a 12 volt out of Bose. Did you get it out of Bose car? Mm -hmm. You get it out of Bose car? Yeah. Out of Bose car, and that way Eddie can crank the car and move it. So that's what we got going on right here. Um, you gotta make do with what you can, but the 16 volt Go Lithium is gonna be sent back to them. That way it can get um, repaired, freshened back up, all that good stuff. First issues we had out of it, so it's been a great battery. Um, I'll suggest it to anybody. This thing will crank in a heartbeat.
comes off in two pieces, that's not good. Y'all seen Shepard? Shepard! Ah! <laughs> uh oh. Oh no, where's Shepard? Ah! Where's Shepard? Shepard. Ah. Ah. Oh yeah, you got it. All right, we're gonna go over here. That's Dad's after the uh, ice bowl. It kicked his bumper up. Luckily, that was a really good bumper and it didn't get in the radiator or anything. Uh, proud of him for how he did it, the, the ice bowl. I don't know if he's gonna do why not or not. All right. Gonna grab these real quick. Here, bud. Here. Take that. Hold it. It's heavy. Got it. Thank you. All right. Oh, don't don't hit it. Don't hit it. Come on, carry it over here. Go, go to the other side of Daddy's car. We're gonna put it in Daddy's car. Look, come over here. Open right here, 
$25 a pop, $100 for spot one and spot 15. Those two are already taken. Um, we've got probably over half of it filled up. Uh, our 25 spots, but I mean, we're you know, we'll open up as far as we can. So, if anybody wants to be a deck sponsor, $25 um, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, you can put whatever you want to on the deck by your number within reason. Now, we've got some that say Go Vols or LSU, whatever, but uh, you know, it is what it is. We'll, we'll put whatever for a little bit of cash, so you may have to pay extra for those spots. But also, we are finalizing wraps and car designs and all that. We've got a couple primary spots still open, um, some secondary spots. We got plenty of room. So if you want to be on the side of one of our cars or both of our cars or all three cars, buddy, you better get down. <laughs> and we got plenty of room for sponsorship. My car is going to be a little bit different this year. Not going with a full wrap, going with some uh, decals, and that way, if I get doored the first race, I can replace the sponsorship spot, have it looking good all year. Um, that's our plan. So, first race, I talked to Eddie the other day, and he said to plan on racing on March 4th at the Battle of the States. <clears throat> now, that's Bo. Bo's wedding is the next weekend. Um, but I've talked to the guy doing my numbers and stuff. He's supposed to be cutting. Oh, I got to measure that, by the way. I need to measure number heights. Um, but he is supposed to be working on that and having me that stuff ready. The car, I mean, we still, Dad says no, but we still got over a month to go. So um, we, may, we may make it there. I, I'd like to. That's the race I ran fourth in last year. Kind of started the year off good, then went downhill from there. But hopefully we can start off good again there and and keep it going i'm excited about the the things we're changing on this car i think the issues we were having um are going to be addressed we're going with um you know we're going to have the project x shocks on there but we're also going to have another another set of another set of shocks to try too so we may have to end up letting shep drive it by the end of the year if i can't pull my weight but um but anyways Y'all wish us luck. We'll try to uh, try to have them ready and at the racetrack uh, come March 4th. I know Bo's not going to make it. Dad, I'm trying to talk in, him into taking the factory stop, but he he hadn't been real fond of why not in it yet. So we got to get some laps there and see if we can talk him into going. So, But excited about the season. I think it's going to be a good one. So y'all wish us luck. Um, thank you to all our new subscribers. We got a bunch of them after the Ice Bowl. Appreciate y'all watching. If you haven't, click that subscribe button. I think it's right there, right there, one side or the other. But y'all click it. Um, let us know what you think. Wish us luck. Hopefully we'll see y'all. We may go kart racing this weekend. I don't know. We'll check y'all later, though. Thank you. Ship. Tell them bye. Say bye. Bye. Say thank you. Good job. See you later. Bye. Bye. Your hands are red. <laughs> they are. Oh, we got to go get somebody warm.